So someone kept suggesting this Ray Dalio style video and he has these amazing animations in a few of his videos which I did watch and decided to recreate this particular scene. And who is Ray Dalio? I have no idea. But he had these amazing animations which I'm going to recreate and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So let's begin. So as always let's just drag in our fusion composition and head over to it and drag in a background connect the background and this time we're going to set the color to 275 a to a now you can go ahead and search for grain by pressing Control space at the same time and then go ahead and search for grain and you will find this one so you'll see that this is our grain over here but just go ahead and make sure you add this merge node with the background and then connect the grain with the merge and over here we're going to change the power to 20 change the grain size to 5 and also the spacing to 5 and now let's go ahead and drag in this fast noise and connect it with the grain now change the detail to 0 and contrast to 5 and go over to the color tab and from here just go ahead and change the color all the way to black all right, now let's go ahead and add in an ellipse from here and then simply just connect it with the fast noise. Go over here and select this invert and change the soft edge all the way to 0.2. And now you can change the width and the height so that this covers only the edges over here. So this looks fine. And now make sure you select your merge one node and search for grid and you can simply just add it right next to the merge one all right so now let's go over here and change the column cells to 12 and change the major line spacing to 5 and from here let's also change the color to black and let's just hide this and from here in the transform controls change the pan to minus 0 0.23 and change the zoom to 0 1.05 all right now let's go ahead and add our text so simply just drag in this text and connect it with the merge with the grid and over here let's just go ahead and write in anything i'm just going to write this and change the font to georgia like this and go over to the layout and change the z to 270 and simply drag this right here now for the second text just go ahead and drag this and connect it with the merge and also let's go ahead and change the color in the text one like this and copy this html code and also go over to the text tool and do the same thing over here all right in the text tool let's go ahead and write in three or we can also write in one but th this is just to follow the theme of the video all right and also change this to georgia as well so this is how it looks let's position this right here actually i'm going to change this to zero point five so this is how it looks and over here at 10 let's go over to text 2 and create a keyframe at size and then over at zero let's change this to zero so this is how it will look it comes in and then at 20 let's create another keyframe at size and then at 30 let's move this out so this is how it looks all right and now we need to create our polygon tools so that will act as the line over here that comes in with the flags so let's just drag in this background and also this polygon and from here i'm just going to remove this line connect both of these like this and in the polygon over here at width first of all just unselect this solid and then change this to zero point let's say zero point one let's just see how this looks and let's go over here and start creating the line so right here somewhere around here okay so as you can see this is not the one that we want so you can just change it change the border width to let's say 0 0.05 or 0 0.03 that's up to you so let's just place this somewhere somewhere around here so actually let's just move this right here and from here you can see we can change this curve as, as well so this looks fine from here and then right now let's go ahead and add in another one so 
same thing that we did before. This time, just go ahead and copy this border width from the first one and paste it right here. Unselect the solid, just like we did before, and connect all of these like this. So make sure you select Polygon 2, and right here, let's go ahead and add it like this. And we can move this around. like this all right and now for the flags but before we do the flags let's go ahead and start the animation so right now we also need to animate the grid over here and the way that we can do is just go over to grid and from here let's go ahead at 30 create a keyframe at pan and zoom so go over at 80 frames and then create another keyframe for both of these now let's go back to the one at 30 and from here you can change the frame change the pan to this side and also the zoom to this side so if you play this now this is how it will look and of course we also need to move this text in so make sure you select this text one and let's go over to at let's say at 80 in the layout section just go ahead and create a keyframe at center and then at let's say 60 let's just move this right here so here you can see this moves in just as this is moving out all right and now for the animation for this one for the lines over here what you need to do is just go ahead and create a keyframe at 90 for this polygon 2 which is this this one over here so let's create a keyframe at length and also let's create a keyframe at center and let's go all the way to 30 and from here i'm just going to change the length to zero and also i'm going to change the center over here so if you play this this is how it will look and let's do the same thing for this one over here as well so over here at 90 create a keyframe at length and also at so only create a keyframe at length and let's go over at let's say 70 and move this to zero so here you can see this is how it looks and of course we can animate this one in a more better way but i'm just doing it like this as of now because this doesn't look bad at all it's it will be fine for us for now and now let's go ahead and add in our flags so these are the flags that i'm using now i know he used different flags for this but these are the ones that i want to use so that's it okay and set the size to let's say 0 0.3 and make sure that you move this right here and this is the position at 90 so go ahead and create a keyframe at center for this transform and as you see that this is moving in right here so Let's go over at 70 and then let's go ahead and move this right here. And this is moving out at 40. So let's go ahead and change this right here. So if you play this, you can see that we have some problem over here, which is because we need to make sure that this is going along this line. So you can do it keyframe by keyframe. That's up to you. So this looks fine. And let's do this for this flag as well. And let's connect it. And let's change this to 0. Point, let's say 25. So this is up to you. This depends on the flag that you're using. So the kind of flag that you're using, just make sure it fits with the size of the other flag. So this one works for me so at 90 i'm going to create a keyframe at center for this one and let's go over at so this one would be easy because this is moving in from cell 80 so this would be quite fine actually so let's move this right here and then let's move this right here so 
Here you can see this is how it looks. All right, let's play this now on our main timeline. So here you can see we have our animation. So this was it, a very simple tutorial on how you can do these sorts of animations. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.